I just liked Dobbs a little bit more because of what he was working with. Whereas with Highsmith, you like you look like how it's supposed to look. It should have looked gory. It looked gory. You look like you had the competitive advantage. With Dobbs in that group, wasn't the competitive advantage. It was more balanced. It was more even. And we saw Dobbs use his legs. We saw Dobbs throwing the rock. We saw Dobbs being smart with the ball. It looked like he had just control of the offense. Very similar to what we said about Haskins. I just thought that Dobbs moved the ball better. But I also thought that the receivers helped him out a little bit better as well compared to with uh, when Haskins was out there. But even with May, I thought Mason did some good things, though, man. I did too. I like I said like, this. People don't like him. I man. said this yesterday. <laughs> Outside of the fumble, like he Im- he impressed me the most in terms yeah. of his throws because he had the most wide variety of some mm-hmm. of those out routes. Yep. He had the deep ball to Claypool. Mm-hmm. He had the one that Claypool dropped. Like if he doesn't drop that, he's seven for nine with yep. like over a hundred yards in that yep. first quarter and a half. See, for me, I thought with Mason, they called the game similar to how they did in week 17. They were more open with the playbook in the second half, right? We're going to stretch the field. We're going to see you throw the deep out. Because even the dump to nausea, you you could tell he was looking for something deep. He was looking downfield, yeah. So with those calls, drastically different than when Haskins in there. Haskins came in, it was more, we're running the ball, we're going to work perimeter. Waggle routes where tight ends are dragging across. Well, he did get the the ball with the short field, though. Yeah, we did. Uh, We definitely did. a couple times. We did. But I just thought that it was a lot more reserved play calling with Haskins in there as compared to Mason and Dobbs I thought they opened it up now that could also be because Mason and Dobbs have already been here before so with them there is going to be a comfort level that's already there obviously Matt Cannon has worked with them before as well because he was on the staff a year ago so I thought that that might have been why the calls look like that but I do anticipate it changing next game because in practice they're not calling those type of plays for Haskins in practice when I watch Haskins in practice they're calling the same calls that they were calling for Mason in that first quarter where he's stretching the field they're calling those for Haskins and those are the plays that Haskins is making in practice he's taking those shots whereas in the game I don't I can't remember them calling a ton of deep he, pass. He did like, make the one throw. I think it was McCoy down the side. It looked like a good throw. It yeah. was just McCoy and the dude getting like yeah. tangled up. But as a whole like it wasn't a ton of you know, variety with this call. It was, they're going to no. run Balazs left, they're going to run Balazs right, and they're hitting these passes to the flat, more so just trying to get the timing part of it. I was impressed with Haskins. Yeah. I, I liked what Mason did outside of the fumble. Uh, dogs look good, too. But that's my thing. Like, when we say outside the fumble, it's not just on him. Right. Part of that is Claypool. I think he took the blame in the press conference. He's supposed to. He's yeah. a quarterback. But I thought the same yeah. thing before that's he said thing, that. I was man. like, yeah. I mean, Claypool with his timing. And also, just the offense in general. Yeah. It's a preseason game. We're trying to work out these right. picks. It's not the like, end of the world. I don't think that was on. I don't think it's a knock on either guy. It's just a, that's the timing of it. You know, you got to get the timing part right. But yeah, I just. Mm. I think the thing that hurt Dobbs from my standpoint, he had that really nice pass in the end zone because the pressure was Bro, coming down on him. He got smacked. Yeah. And he died. It was, it was a Deacon dot right there, man. The thing that hurt yeah. him, because I think that first drive was the one that stood out from mm-hmm. all of his other ones. The other ones, in my opinion, were just them trying to run the ball and get the game over yeah. with, in my opinion. They were. That was about it. Yep. So, in terms of that one comment about Dobbs getting more clock. He had like a good yeah. nine to eight minutes in that fourth quarter, yeah. but it just looked like we were trying to get out of that stadium. But that's kind of how I felt even watching Haskins a little while. I was just like, man, why we keep running? Like, let that man sling that pill a little bit, man. I want to see I that. loved, I loved, I, now quarterback critics would uh-huh. probably rip on it. I loved a couple of those throws where he was just on his back foot. Yeah, that. You you I don't want it, that. But I, like, I did not like that. But just to show, about, showcase though. the arm a little bit, Yeah, it was kind of impressive. For me, the reason why I didn't like it, that's what got him in trouble in Washington. Yeah. The the inconsistency with the footwork. Just because you're capable of it, you don't need to make habits of that. And for him, that was a bad habit. So I looked at that as like, don't revert back to that now that you're in the stadium. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I wasn't a fan of it all the way, man, because that's, that's turnovers. Turnovers. I get, no, I get bro. what you're saying. Yeah. I was just impressed that like, he's got that type of arm oh, talent. He he's got does, the arm yeah. talent that people are yeah. craving with Mahomes and like Rodgers yeah. where you could just stand there, have these weird arm yeah. angles off your back foot. Cause you know what it reminded me of like when you just said that? I heard Aikman. He was talking about Danucci and his. Oh, he could throw from all over these angles, and we saw what that was looking like. Haskins looked better to me. 
I don't know if he had the Steeler jersey. But. Yeah, that was a Steeler jersey. <laughs> but for a fact, Aiken, wait, man, you see this guy? You look at this kid arm. Hey, this is crazy. He could throw it like this, man. Look at the angles here, man. It's not the best, but dude, da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, but he's stinking it up. He's hitting people in the face with it. It's not what you want to do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had that one broken play that kind of saved the stat line. If that yeah, didn't did, happen, did, oh did. man. Chill out, chill out, chill out, man. Chill out. <laughs> chill out. It was at one point I was laying there. Me and wifey and now my homies, because you know, we jam you out. And my man's just like, yo, the stat line said one for three. It's like two yards, zero touchdowns and a pick. I say, yo, God, he's making this look bad right now. Come on, die. Come on, Danucci. I need you, baby. I need you. So yeah. But shout out to that long run he had at the end, man. That does got to count for something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Give, give my man a little, just a little, little, little positive. And Haskins' stat line probably should have been a little bit better. There was like, yeah. was there two or three drops? The one was a contested catch with yeah. the tight end, but there was he like, have, I think there was two blatant drops. Yeah, he but had. he had the one bad throw. Was that in the red zone? The one. Oh yeah. The flat. Was it? Was it? Who was it? Was it Washington? I can't remember. I don't remember who it was. It was but you know maybe. About, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it would have been a touchdown because it would have been it some been type bang, of contested yeah. goal line. But yeah, he missed that. Uh, there was that nice catch that McFarlane made. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I, I thought Haskins did pretty good. He looked yeah. like in terms of comfortability, and you mm-hmm. mentioned this. That's what I thought he did. There was maybe a throw that you would like to be placed. Yeah, one way or another, he threw one to like the left sideline, and it was kind of one of those back foot throws where he was getting it out real quick, a mm-hmm. little low. But no, I thought he looked pretty good. His stat line would look better if it wasn't for the drops. And then McFarlane getting that first down that one time, that drive could have kept yeah. going too. Led the scoring drive. I like Taskins. I like what Mason did. Dobbs, unfortunately, only got one series. Yeah. In my opinion. I know it was more serious. No, I'm but- with you with that. I was laughing because my man Donald Copeland here, he says, Team Mason don't even hit right. They don't like how it sounds when we're trying, when we're giving Mason some love. They're, 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 not, Mason, they're not feeling the Mason performance last night at all, man. My man Larry even really? says, he I- says, Dobbs won, Haskins two, trade Mason. I just don't. I don't get how you could have those takes after yesterday. I, yo, Mason Alex, had some P, really Alex good P throws. says Mason is not it. <laughs> uh, reincarnate in Enigma says Haskins is better than Mason. We do agree with that for right now, based on what we've been seeing. But yeah, Peter Cicero, Mason to the Colts, please. Like man, I don't get these takes, dude. But now Bart Simpson says that you know Stephanie Ramirez is Mason Rudolph's burner account, and it's obvious because Stephanie is a Mason enthusiast. No one's saying he's the future. No one's saying he's it. But and she also says we should trade Haskins back to Washington. No, no, no. I'm no, I'm good with now. our quarterback depth. Mason and Haskins competition for yeah. quarterback too. And then, depending on what Ben decides, I hope it's four more years. I hope he signs mm-hmm. up for that. But if he decides to ride off in the sunset, play some golf, then we have a competition between those two, those yeah. two dudes next year, and or maybe even not next year. Maybe Ben wants to play one more year. Yeah. But whatever it is, I, I'm good with what we got going right here with Mason Haskins. And you never know what you could do in the draft in a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, man. I just I don't know. No man. one no one's saying like that he's it, he's the right, franchise right. guy. I thought he played good yesterday. Yeah. But you know, this is one of the things that that Mason is coming to now, where he's going to have to wow to get the bad memories gone. To to make people feel like, all right, what we've seen from him in the past. Well, especially with Haskins it's a hard, here now. Right, because with Haskins here, Haskins is like that new toy, that bright, and it's like you know he's super talented, and it's just more so can he legit tap into that. With Mason, because we felt like at times he was limited, and because, I mean, when you're just going down the process of we have a first-round grade on a person versus somebody being a legitimate first-round pick, it's just – weird in terms of with mason how we're saying yo mason didn't play bad he did some good things but the perception surrounding him is drastically different compared to a guy like haskins and even dobbs to a little bit right now but mason did mason wasn't terrible man mason did some good things yesterday man just just get mason a little bit of, let's give him another game give him another game before we before we ship him off what did you all right so what do you think is going to happen going forward you think it's going to be flip haskins gets I think in the game first two, well, I think for game two, because they want to see guys with different groups. I want to, like, we got a chance to see Haskins. I would like to see that, too. Right. We got a chance <laughs> to see. I'd love to see a full game of Mason, right. a full game of Haskins. We I saw Mason with Claypool, Deontay. Now we want to see Haskins with those guys and with and Najee. Najee yeah. yeah, that that like, I want to see that. And they want to see that because 
we saw Dwayne play well with the group he had. Now, what if he goes out with this group and excels? Okay, you might be on to something. Now, say Mason. He or played, even some of those passes that right. they gave Mason. I'd like to see some right. of those out routes and or stuff. Or say too. with Mason, right? Mason, we thought he did some some good things in this game. Wasn't great, but he did some good things. But he was with the better unit. Now, can you still do those things with a lesser unit out there? When you don't have Claypool that you could just throw it up there to, can you still make those type of plays? Can you still be a productive play, uh, person to move the offense? That, once again, is something I'm interested to see with Mason, man. So they will flip-flop those guys, man. Okay. I think that'll they be definitely cool. will, man. Yeah, that'll be fun to see. Yeah.